and I'll outline the process for becoming certified as a scuba diver, how to become comfortable with your equipment, and two articles that uh, recommend certain safety procedures before you each dive. So the first step uh, to becoming certified is to do an online training course. I did the PADI online uh, training course, which is takes a couple hours um, and has a few quizzes. And then once you've completed this course, you go on uh, four different dives. The first dive, all four of them are with a trainer, and the first one is a pool dive. It's pretty straightforward, and you're working with a trainer to understand the equipment, and uh, this will actually be the first time you uh, get to experience breathing underwater. The next three dives are with the same instructor, but actually are held in the ocean. And these three dives will mimic what you'll be able to do once you have your certification. During these first four dives, it's pretty important to really just focus on the equipment you're learning about and uh, learning the techniques to diving, as many divers overlook these first four dives and try and jump straight into the experience of uh, diving. And Eric Douglas in 2010 uh, wrote an article called One Dive Too Many, where divers have overlooked these preliminary dives and have run into trouble later on. So these first four dives are pretty short and just a great time to really get to know your gear and learn tips from your instructor. So what is the gear you have to get to know? The first set of gear you have is mainly uh, focused on the comfort and mobility you have within the water. So you have a wetsuit, you have flippers, goggles, and you actually also have a weight belt which counters the buoyancy of the uh, scuba suit, the wetsuit. And then for the second set, this is where your instructor comes in. It's a little more complicated um, and involves an uh, oxygen tank, a buoyancy control device, also known as a BCD, and your regulators. The buoyancy control device is similar to a life preserver, except that you can control the amount of air that's in the jacket, meaning you can control your buoyancy while you're underwater. And this is probably the most difficult piece of equipment to get to know, as it holds your air tank and your regulators. So taking the time to get to know this piece of equipment with your instructor is very important. Um, in 2002, a brief article uh, was written by Rodeo Scuba Diving, and they highlighted not only the importance of knowing how to assemble your own uh, scuba equipment, but also before each dive, it's very important to uh, check the functionality of your equipment before each dive. And this is a very simple way to ensure that while you're diving, uh, all of your equipment is functioning as it should. Um, so the wrap up, the uh, PADI certification is pretty easy and straightforward, and it's actually a pretty enjoyable, enjoyable experience. It took myself about a, uh, five days to complete this course. And also through the uh, two articles I referenced, if you had any uh, fears of uh, scuba diving beforehand, I hope they uh, outlined how important it is and uh, how important it is to just take your time with the learning process and that most of the issues that divers have run into with, while scuba diving have come from lack of preparation beforehand. So I hope through this speech you've gained understanding of how to acquire a certification through PADI and also how a few simple uh, safety <laughs> tricks can lead to a much safer dive. Thank you.